Welcome, Battletech enthusiasts. We're going to discuss guards. Now, guards are mechs that guard another mech. It's not a guard for a part of the map that's a space control or area denial mech. This is a mech whose job is to follow a larger mech and prevent other mechs and vehicles from getting back shots on it. This means there are some requirements for it. It has to be maneuverable, like uh, significantly maneuverable compared to either the mech it's guarding or the typical mechs that the mech it's guarding would be fighting against. It also has to have significant firepower, and it may or may not have a lot of armor. For example, the Jenner. This is a, an ideal guard mech for that dragon that was uh, shown initially. But it turns out the dragon itself would make a good guard for an even bigger mech. Pretty much any mech that has a high level of maneuverability and reasonable firepower can become a guard. Even something like a panther, even though it's very slow in its movement, can function as a guard, but only because it has jump jets that kind of enables it to get behind and do its maneuvers. Plus, it's got that PPC that can help augment uh, firepower. Any mech that is a good brawler can also be a guard. A grasshopper is a good one. Zeus makes a great guard because it's maneuverable. And then mechs like Wolverines are good as are griffins. These are sufficiently maneuverable, um, and also the, the Phoenix Hawk, especially with jump jets, those, that gives it a major bonus. The Cicada can function because it just has a lot of movement. Now you can get pretty lightweight with your guards, like even going down to stingers, even though it's not so good against other mechs, or you could use a charger. A uh, commando would also make a great guard. Better than a Stinger would be a Wasp because it's got SRMs. The Stinger with its machine guns might help against infantry, um, but against other mechs you want a Wasp. Also a Locust is good, uh, especially if, it's, if you take the LCT-1S rather than the 1V. Mechs that are area control and space control can also be guards. Um, you just have to be careful though that the mechs that you pick are not very limited in their mobility uh, for what you get. For example, the urban mech and possibly the panther might be a bit too slow to be guards, but they can uh, but they might be usable. You could even use a pair of mechs, like two awesomes or two Alice's, even if it's the same mech, or you can have an awesome guard and Alice. Um, you could possibly just use two of a mech, just that way they're kind of going in pairs, but you ideally want the guard to be smaller to save on battle value. Now, can you actually use non-mechs as guards? Possibly a mechanized infantry or some vehicles. Demolishers could be guards for LRM carriers. Here, can you spot the guard? It's the archers. Although archers are kind of more of a brawler or a long-range support mech, um, if what you've got is this structure here, the archers are sort of functioning as your melee slash guards for your longbows and your LRM carriers. Also, the Ontos is a good guard if your target, if your enemy is a vehicle. Against mechs, you want to shoot in deep like you prefer ac20s like demolishers but against vehicles you actually want a very large number of shots like with the medium laser packs that the ontos carries that's because vehicles tend to take a lot of uh crits and motives from numbers of hits and on a mech it's the exact opposite you instead want to penetrate armor and get critical hits in the slots and maybe hit ammunition magazines whereas there is no such thing in a, in a vehicle you cannot destroy a vehicle with a critical hit to an ammunition magazine um, by penetrating armor it's more of a you get one of your crit hits from your multiple hits 
from your medium lasers, even if you haven't penetrated armor, and that's how you get your fuel tank or engine explosion. You might say, what the heck, of course you can destroy a vehicle with crits by penetrating armor. Well, sure, that's, it's just that uh, in a vehicle, any destruction of any internal component is full destruction of the vehicle. So effectively, it kind of doesn't count. As soon as you start hitting the internals of a vehicle, you have pretty much already destroyed it, and you're not really kind of counting on a lucky crit on an ammo bin. In order to be effective, you want the guard to be possibly one size class smaller than the guard, the mech that you're guarding. So if you're guarding an assault mech, you might use like a warhammer. And if you're guarding a warhammer, you might use a hunchback. And if you're guarding a hunchback, you might use like a spider. Now, what would be really interesting is if someone tried to use vehicles or possibly even infantry as guards. If anyone has such experience and has had success with it, I would be very interested in hearing that in the comments section. Uh, maybe even like an AC-20 Karnov. Now, certain structures don't really need guards. Like if you have a pack of light mechs, then there's no point in having guards. And also if you're kind of double up, then you don't really need guards. Um, so those at least are my thoughts on guard mechs, and I'd like to hear what you think.